Glock, and this isn't new. This is the Talo uh, introduces the Glock 28. So Talo uh, Industries is a like a buying consortium group, and they've worked with Glock to basically bring some U.S.-based uh, production of the Glock 28. The Glock 28 has been available overseas in Europe for, for several years now, and basically uh, it's a uh, similar in size to the G26 and G27, it's just in 380. Uh, not a huge reason for this really, it's just some people just wanted one. Uh, due to import laws to the 1968 Gun Control Act, it did not fit the criteria in the point scale system to allow it to be imported because it was just a little bit too small, uh, so there was no sporting purpose for it to be able to be imported. Um, so they went ahead and uh, were producing a limited run in the United States and uh, Taylor Industries, uh, they, uh, they set this up and it's going to be running through their distributors. It is going to be a limited production run. Uh, I think I've heard numbers around 5,000 or something like that are going to be produced. Uh, it has a 3.3 inch barrel, standard 10 plus 1 capacity and weighs 20.64 ounces with an unloaded magazine. Uh, it's now available in the market and uh, ready to order from a Taylor member distributor. Uh, production availability is limited. Uh, let's see, uh, weight, so without a magazine at all, it's 18.7 ounces. Weight with the empty magazine is 20.64 ounces. Weight with a loaded magazine is 24.16 ounces. Trigger pull is five and a half pounds. Overall length is 6.5 inches. Slide length is 6.26 inches. 1.26 inches wide. Uh, height including the magazine is 4.17 inches and the sight radius is 5.39 inches. So if you're you know, really geeking out, want to have a 380 Glock, um, th there you go. Uh, you have an option now uh, that maybe you'll be able to, to get that. Uh, MSRP is $599, uh, so I would uh, expect because of its limited production run, um, you're probably not going to get one a whole lot cheaper than that.